actually exists in Thailand. Our project is different because it creates a stress-free environment for people to share their thoughts. Uh, they can be sitting in an informal setting and share whatever ha they have on their mind, whatever question a child maybe can ask an older person something uh, that's related to like parenting, and he can answer him. It's like stress-free and it's also good for shy people like uh, our friends. Who is bilingual? Not bilingual. So, uh, as I said, bilingual is someone who speaks uh, many different languages. Uh, body language is someone who uses uh, hand signs to make uh, make his presentation more interesting. So, we want to use a student from Morocco because we can show them that Morocco is not a country just uh, who is in Africa and uh, has stupid people. By that we can like show them that uh, in Morocco we can learn a lot of things, uh, like their language, their culture, and uh, many things. The team we're gonna uh, edit everything out and post it into the social media of the school or the school uh, website as small show, uh, as like a small show with episode one, episode two. And I forgot to mention that this lasts for uh, two days. Um, and maybe apologize for their uh, previous mistakes and you know try to communicate more with them and try to listen to their kids because if they only speak about their problems and then only about their problems their child will feel that barrier that they are just only there to listen to their parents and not there to speak because that would make them hate listening to other people. Promote it in a school, in different schools. A lot of parents will like when the children come up with that paper of the uh, project and stuff, they will be, oh, we need to go in family. I think we have a lot of family that will be interested. It's like a healthy and good environment with your family. As like when you're listening to them, you can give your own opinion. Like those decent group of people, I'm talking about generous people that are volunteering for your project. You know, we will just. I'm just gonna give you what I will do personally. If I, if I was the one responsible for this, I'm gonna just go to LinkedIn search for 400 specialists, and you know, in 100 specialists, like it is obvious that you're gonna find one or two who can do this. So you need only one or two. Yeah. In your big project, do you? It is not. Yeah, it is a big project, but they will like have a very big part. You know, the biggest part in this project is is just the preparation. You know. Uh, microphones, if they, had, if they didn't, if they didn't have, we're actually gonna use uh, some of our budget. And for the sponsor, it will be Education for All Morocco. Uh, I can, I'm gonna say it is an organization which is more concerned about businesses, actually working on some projects and you know, offering some financial help. How uh, you are going to ensure that uh, the track of uh, the project is going uh, well as planned? And just uh, and just uh, something. How how to make the just target actually uh, the specific target proactive, you know, and not uh, reactive. And and uh, coming up with uh, the most advantages uh, possible. Yeah, so for project uh, uh, being on track, so uh, I think you know it's just an online platform. We wouldn't have no food services, no stuff like that. So I don't think there will be any problem. For uh, you know, uh, you said how, how are they going to be proactive? So uh, you know, we will have, as I said, we will have some weekly updates. So they're going to see the news and if you know they have any problems, they have any questions about uh, this subject, they're just gonna ask, you know, uh, people nowadays are looking for information and for something. So this kid will be like two times a week. To be One honest with you, it is the most logical out of all of these. You're gonna ask me why. American space is known for bringing guests from sometimes they are also from around the globe. No, American space is known for TED talks, speaking about books, but it also encourages some skills like active in the family. They, some, I believe, last one time they brought a sociologist just to speak about the importance of listening. They spoke about that, but I didn't speak about the family, just to talk about listening in the society. But that's my point. They are, they present as well and can be used as a material for the videos. It's uh, practically just means um, listening uh, to uh, while uh, like having a good listening and listening to what others say, others say. It can be, it is important in many uh, situations, for example, active listening in families, schools, um, uh, and uh, um, everywhere in the world it's important. Uh,
like children are like suffering from this uh, from this lack of attention of uh, their their parents uh, of course so uh, let us like take their attention first so uh, they they and they understand what's the subject about and then they realize how much their parents or uh, their families are not paying attention to them so uh, so that at the end uh, parents can also understand what is what's the subject about and the uh, and the goal yeah so you need like uh, like you need to catch up like the child's goal and then after that he needs to go That's and look yeah. that goal to his parents yeah like they cannot join us on uh, online well maybe we can just raise it again in somewhere maybe in Hive academy or other center and they can like join us again and we can like uh, represent it. Of course, we're not over ambitious. We did this project to raise awareness about the significance of active listening in parents. We did this project in our hometown, well, uh, We will uh, raise awareness about this, uh, about active listening because it has an importance on the future of 